I am so, so, so happy to announce that my angel baby is back. Good, Harrison. So my dad just popped around to give me some of my post and I've just opened the nicest little package. How amazing is this chocolate? That is pretty incredible. I don't even want to eat it, it looks so good. I feel like I want to keep it forever. I want all chocolate to be like this. Um, oops. I also have this little package here. It's all from Phil Unique. And they always, always, always spoil. Oh, more glitter. Oh, that is so amazing. Look, Harrison. A little makeup bag with an L on it for your mummy. Thank you so, so much to Meg and Victoria for that. So, so kind of you. And although I don't want to eat the chocolate because it looks so good, I will indulge in it tonight. Don't you worry. Harrison has just gone down for a nap and I now need to go get ready because all oh, my throat. We are going for lunch um, with Benefit Team and I'm so excited. They had a breakfast last week, I believe, and I couldn't make it. So I was really gutted about that. But thankfully, we are going for lunch today. So I get to catch up with them and we also get to eat yummy food. So, yeah, I'm really, really excited. And also I get to see one of my favourite people. I've also just opened another fabulous makeup bag, which is actually the gift we've purchased from Birchbox. Um, and inside you get it. Benefit Triple Performing Facial Emulsion. Whoops. A model's own nail varnish in the colour. Unknown. And a little lip balm from Pixie, which I'm so, so excited to try. Can you tell I've been Instagramming? So I'm pretty much ready. I have just had to tie my hair up though because Harrison keeps pulling it, which is very, very annoying. Um, but it's probably a good thing because it does look quite windy outside. So, yeah, we are going to shoot off soon. I just need to feed him, but the bottle hasn't cooled down yet, which is really, really annoying. Um, but he has fallen asleep. So I think I'm going to have to wake him up to give him his bottle. So we have managed to leave the house on schedule, which I'm very pleased about. And Harrison looks like he's very pleased to be in outside. I'm just on the train now and Harrison is refusing to nap, which is typical. I'm just hoping that it doesn't affect his mood and that he's a good boy because whenever I take him out for like a PR lunch or anything, he has a tendency to explode, throw a temper tantrum or just be yeah. Um, so I'm hoping that he is lovely angel baby Harrison today. I know that Emma from Milk Teeth really wants to see him and yeah, it's not nice if somebody wants cuddles and there's a baby throwing themselves about crying. So, fingers crossed he is a good boy. Terminate. Please make sure that you take all of your personal belongings with you when leaving the train. And please have your tickets ready for inspection at the ticket barriers. Also, please mind the gap between the train and the platform edge. Change here at uh, London Victoria for London Underground Services, South Eastern Services to Kent and Victoria Coach Station. We'd like to thank you for choosing to travel with Southern today. And once again, we do apologise for the late running of this service. We are running approximately 16 minutes late. This is due to a power supply problem at London, Victoria. Once again, London, Victoria is our next stop where this train will terminate. All change, please, all change. Anyway, so yeah, I've got to try my very hardest not to take Harrison to anything Christmassy or even Hamleys today, which will be difficult, but I think we're coming tomorrow with Mike, so yeah, I am going to have to try my hardest because I love me some Christmas. Yeah. Calling out to the airport. Oh. I'm feeling so angry right now. The bus driver stopped in front of a billard where I couldn't get off. I've had to walk for ages and where I would have been early I'm now very very late. I love that we all understand each other. <laughs> Thank you. 
Toronto the weather is horrendously windy. It is awful. We have just got home and I am back on the sofa watching The Apprentice. Um, I had such a lovely afternoon out but I am so exhausted. Pushing the pram around has really worn me out today because it was so windy so it was like a complete struggle and then I had to walk extra because of the bloody bus driver who decided to stop in front of like building works and I couldn't get off the bus there and then he wouldn't stop at the actual bus stop which infuriated me to no end. It was all made up and made a lot better when I arrived at Bill's and Idris Elba was in there. Oh yes, Idris Elba, Luther, oh god. Me and Emma were like crazed fangirls honestly just oh i'm i was a very happy girl with my macaroni cheese and idris elba so yeah i am now going to have a cup of tea once i fed this little one and catch up on the apprentice interviews then i'm gonna try my very best to get harrison ready for bed and into bed by half six because i want to have a nice evening by myself in an ideal world i would love to play with harrison all night long because mike is at his works christmas do but I equally want to just have a nice bath and tidy up and go on my laptop and just do nothing. I'm going to watch a Christmas film and do nothing with a face mask on and maybe put rollers in my hair. That's what I'm going to do. Um, but I've not got any good snacks, which is a bit annoying. An exclusive Samsung. Good night, baby. Love you. Sleep tight. In half an hour, followed at nine by Panorama investigating Apple. <coughs> Hi guys, so tonight didn't go as planned really, which is why I haven't really vlogged. Um, Harrison didn't end up going down till about half past nine quarter to ten so that was like three hours of trying to get him in bed Um, he just wanted to be downstairs with me I feel like he knew that Mike was out and then he just wanted to be with me which I guess is quite sweet because I know that I used to feel like that with my mum and dad Um, it's been okay though I can't really moan you know I've still managed to just sit on the sofa and chill I managed to write a blog post which I will link below I edited today's video and that is now uploaded I ate a box of celebrations, I, what else did I do? Oh, I watched some really sad Christmas TV, which I don't know why I do this to myself when I'm on my own, because it's only ever going to result in tears, um, which isn't good if you're on your own. I am now going to go and quickly import all the footage from today onto my MacBook, because I feel like Vlogmas has been one big struggle of deleting clips that I want to keep for filming like a cup of tea or something ridiculous like that so yeah I need to go and import that so that I actually have space tomorrow and then I'm gonna have a quick bath and put on some fake tan because I'm going out on Saturday and I figured that it's better for me to tan earlier as opposed to later just in case I have any fake tan veils because recently my fake tan has been horrendous. I used to be really good at it, like I used to be very very good at fake tan. However, now because I have to rush it and do it at midnight and then I get sick on in the morning or might not be able to get a shower until hours and hours later, it goes really bad. So yeah, I figured that I would do it tonight as opposed to tomorrow, just in case there are any fake tan fails. So, I'm going to go and do that, going to go and go to bed, and I will see you tomorrow. I hope you're all very well, and thank you for watching. Bye! Also, I've just realised that this time tomorrow, this time tomorrow, this time next week, Christmas will nearly be over. And that makes me very, very sad. So I'm definitely going to make the most of this next week and get my festivities on. Hopefully tomorrow we are going into London again. Um, but I will be with Mike so he can push the pram this time because, oh my gosh, that pram is getting harder and harder to push. But yeah, I will see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Also, I'm really sorry that that last clip was so close. I kind of looked like a bit of a potato, but I'm not really filming it. Good night.